Okay, let's see how much we've learned here. 2 cotangent 2x, so the derivative for this starts out with the 2. You copy it in, but it doesn't really affect the derivative other than that. The derivative of cotangent is minus cosecant squared of 2x in this case. And now the chain rule goes off and says also do the derivative of what was inside that function. So the derivative of 2x is just the number 2. Okay, so when we're looking for coefficients here, we've got a 2, we've got a negative sign, and we've got a 2. All that together gives us a coefficient out front of negative 4. This 2 is inside the cosecant. You can't touch that one. That remains part of the next piece, cosecant squared of 2 x. Nothing more to be done with that. Okay, now they give us sine x times secant 2x. And you heard me say times there, so you know the product rule is coming. First d second plus second d first. Let's see how that goes. The derivative is first part, sine x, derivative of the second part. The derivative of secant is secant tan. So we get secant 2x tan 2x. And then the chain rule says do the derivative of the 2x. So we get a number 2 out of that. So that's first d second plus, let's see if I can fit this on one line, second secant 2x. Derivative of the first part is sine x, its derivative is just cosine x. And happily that's it, there's not even any chain rule here, or the chain rule here would cause you to do the derivative of x, which is 1, okay. meaning we can get away with skipping it, so fortunately I'm not going to run out of space, I don't have to write anything else after there. Can we clean this up? Only a little. We've got a coefficient of 2 here, so we can say 2 out front, and then we get sine x secant 2x tan 2x plus, and here, cosine x secant 2x. What I'm doing here with these trig functions is I'm putting the ones with an argument of just x at the beginning, and then 2x is after that, and 3x is after that. You do them in increasing order of the coefficient inside. I don't think you'll find that written down any place. It's just a system I picked up for when you have a whole hash of trig functions and you're trying to put them in some kind of order. So if you had a sine x and then a cosine 2x and then a secant 3x and then a cosecant 8x, you put them in this order so that the coefficients inside keep go from small to big. That's better than nothing. And uh, there's no common fact, well, we could factor out a secant 2x, I guess. If you like factored forms, and sometimes I do, you could pull that out and get 2 sine x tan 2x plus cosine x. Is that better? Eh, it's about the same, so either one of these would be an okay place to stop.